you are experiencing McKinsey for almost 20 years now. So I'm, I'm curious yeah. to learn more. So how did you combine? Because that's not something that we talked a lot about. Like we don't talk about on like McKinsey courses in general. So I'm just curious. So you consider your area of expertise neuro and musculoskeletal. So that, that's my next question. And, and why do you think it's relevant to assess musculoskeletal disorders in the neurological population? Yes, I, I think I write in the middle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> my expertise is uh, the clinical assessment. I, I remember uh, another special day in my life. Uh, I was helping with the MBT courses organization in Argentina. Colin Davis stop at the course and said, okay, please listen carefully to Santiago and we has to say to you about the MDT and neurological patients. Oh, wow. And I said, what a responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I took a, a big breath and I shut, started to speak. <laughs> okay, uh, and Colin ended his, uh, ended his speech with a phrase, we want more PTs of Santiago. All of you should try to explore MDT approach in different clinical condition, follow the system, trust in this approach, you know? And I say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> it, it was inspiring for all PTs in, in that course, because, you know, today in Argentina, we have, uh, we have about, 18 certified MDT practitioners, uh, and about half of these are neuro PTs. Oh, wow. So this it's is, not, this is not common. Yeah, it's not yeah. a lot of PTs, and half of them are in neuro. Yeah. That's, that's not, yeah, that's not normal. I'm sure you yeah. were the, the, yeah. the model for them. Yeah, you know. Uh, when I say right in the middle, for example, I was summoned for Argentina University Sport Federation, and I have involved in two university games in Taipei and Naples in 2019 uh, to work as a PT with football and basketball teams. But at the same time, I had delivered lectures and course about, about Parkinson stroke and, and motor control too. Your second question, why it's relevant, if you pay attention to, to the last 15 years, the physical therapy evidence grew a lot. Many PTs in muscle skeletal area, they have, they have been talking about the significant motor control in the patient with neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. However, the, the, the majority of these researches don't show you how to rule it out a specific source of pain or how to subclassify patients in a reliable way, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me give you an example. All the PTs know that spasticity is an upper motor neuro syndrome, velocity dependent. But these pictures only fits perfectly in the spinal cord injury patients. But in stroke patients, the spasticity is an upper motor neuron syndrome too, but not necessarily velocity dependent. It can be triggered for different causes and different situations. For example, a stroke patient with a, a score two in, in Ashworth scale for elbow flexors, Spasticity could increase due to a poor sensory integration or an insufficient strength in trunk muscles or skin injuries or due to a muscle skeletal disorder. This can be one or all together. You know, a neuro PT have tools to assess and classify sensory integration issues or vestibular causes or monitor trunk strength in a stroke patients. The majority of them are keen in detecting skin lesions too. Why does, it, why, why does this happen? Why? Because evidence 
give us clear directives on how to do it. However, when you analyze the research and clinical guidelines, they don't give us straightforward directions on how to detect or rule out the influence of muscle skeletal disorders in, for example, spasticity, you know? And this is what I saw, this lack of gold standard to assess the influence of muscle skeletal disorders in, for example, stroke patients. And this happened with, this, with the majority of the patients with neurological disorders. Maybe have, have been involved in these two areas, neuro and orthopedics, gave me the opportunity to spot this, you know? 